What's up, everybody? We're here at San Diego Comic Con at the Motor Combat One press room. Tiago, it's a pleasure to meet you and talk to you today about the new game. Which, well, let's get right into it. Um, the beta, the beta uh, session has already happened. Watched yes. a lot of it on Twitch. Uh, what was it like for you to experience that, and what was some of the feedback that you received? I mean, I think the the, the coolest thing about the the open beta was was seeing people string together combos and put together things that we weren't doing yeah. internally, right? Yeah. To just see that kind of creative expression and, and being able to give the player that that amount of tools to play with yeah. and, and see them actually do really fun stuff with it, that's so rewarding. And, and yeah. being able to see that has been awesome. Yeah, I was uh, on the internet looking for some contacts. I was like, yeah, y'all gonna have to nerf uh, uh, Kenchi out here. This one guy was going crazy online. I'm like, and he's already weeks ahead of curve, and I'm like, listen, like this, this ain't good for us by the time we get our hands on it. Seriously. Uh, but with that, and even that reaction, what yeah. else can we expect? Like, what are, what are, what are some things y'all have not witnessed that, that are still in the can here? Right. I mean, I think the, the biggest thing to, to keep in mind is this is a reboot. So this is Mortal Kombat through the eyes of Liu Kang, right? So all of our d design choices, all of our aesthetic choices are kind of framed through that that, you know, lens. Yeah. So there is still so much to show you guys that you haven't seen yet, but all of it kind of ties back into that story beat of this is a Liu Kang's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So it's going to feel different than anything you've seen before. Yeah, and last question for you here. You're talking about feeling with the aesthetic here, next generation. Uh, what were you able to do to kind of open up the playground a little bit here? Now that we're on these next gen, things are more powerful. What were some other things you were able to kind of add and implement for this? Sure. I mean, I think that the biggest thing uh, is is we're just the fidelity that we're able to achieve. And that's on the environment side and on the character side, yeah. right? So the environments have so much more detail in them. There's so much more like like little bits of environmental storytelling sprinkled throughout, yeah. so much more so than we've been able to do in the past. Yeah. And with the character design, you can actually see stitches on people, <laughs> and like the construction detail is there, right? These yeah. feel like tangible pieces and tangible costumes that you can actually put on. Yeah. Um, so that's been really, really awesome and exciting to, to be able to hit that level of, of fidelity. And then next year, when we're back at San Diego Comic Con, you're gonna see all the cosplayers. Oh, I can't well wait. Too. Oh my God, I can't wait. That's gonna be so awesome. And we'll deserve for you, man. Thank you so much for the work and so Thank much for you. your time today. I appreciate, I appreciate it, you. man. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Also, you know, I'm a Nike Tech guy, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I put the swag out here, man. I appreciate it, Ready to go, it, boss. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much.